Hey guys, what's up? I'm Palak Lakhani. In this channel, I make educational videos focusing mainly on studying, working and living in Germany. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in today's video, we have a whole team of renewable energy systems from Hochschule Nordhausen and uh, I would sh uh, quickly introduce them. So uh, here is Professor Fischer and uh, then we have uh, Pascal, he is research assistant and also head of the department of thermal engineering. And then we have Ron, he is the program coordinator. We have Pawan Kumar Panda, so he is student and also research assistant in the, in the department. In this video, we will be covering the detailed aspects of this master of engineering program in renewable energy systems. And uh, since we have professor with us, so we will be also asking him a detailed question regarding uh, the future scope and also the salary that a student can earn after this course and other uh, typical questions, which I asked in my previous interviews. So let's get quickly started with this video. What do you find so interesting or uh, special about the study program? Uh, so the study program is uh, Renewable Energy Systems, Masters of Engineering. So compared to any other programs, this program consists of uh, different energy systems combined together in a compilation of a master course. So when someone does a course like this, uh, they would make themselves sure that they are getting the all the streams that are possible in a renewable energy stream. And uh, we have at least uh, six to seven uh, courses which uh, mostly speak about different streams of the renewable energy system. So I think this is one big thing that uh, the Hochschule Nordhausen offers uh, compared to any other courses that were right there now. Okay, great. This course is offered in English and I think it is the only course offered in English in yes. Hochschule Nordhausen. Yes. So what is so unique about this course compared to the other courses in uh, different German universities? Because you might have applied in different universities, yes. Yes. right? So what made you to choose this course in Hochschule Nordhausen? Uh, Right, so there were at least uh, 13 to 14 courses uh, in Germany uh, which mainly depends upon the renewable energy systems. So compared to any other uh, courses, they were mostly in the big cities. So when you are, when you are a student and where, when you are financially incapable of uh, dealing to be in a big city, uh, it's the best choice uh, to be in Northhausen because it is a very small city and uh, with a better student community and uh, uh, it's better to live as a student over here rather than in big cities somewhere else and the courses that uh, which is here it is offered in english uh, and it mainly speaks about the technical or engineering uh, the other courses are master of sciences but this course is master of engineering so okay. it is uh, mainly job oriented rather than the research oriented. research oriented okay great uh, what are the other similar courses offered in uh, Germany or in Hochschule Nordhausen related to this master course? Yes, I think the um, specific difference is, as Panda already mentioned before, that we are covering the uh, broad variety of renewable energies and uh, some other courses, they are more restricted to specific technologies, for instance photovoltaic. So our uh, interest was to just transfer the broader picture of how renewable energies can be also, yes, what are renewable energies and also how can they interact, how can they be integrated into also existing uh, schemes of power and uh, of course also uh, heat generation okay. and distribution. Um, and uh, I think this is, is a strong difference between our study course and others that here our students really learn uh, the global view uh, of renewables and so they can decide from their point of view and also from the requirements of their home countries what is maybe the best suited technology for yes for their own country to yeah. develop mm -hmm. okay. what are the admission requirements like uh, bachelor's degree or yes. gpa or what ielts score is needed to take admission to this program um, yes okay basic requirement is of course a bachelor degree uh, gained at a uh, yes uh, university abroad somewhere um, and uh, we are requesting a grade which corresponds uh, which is transferred into the german grading scheme which means uh, it is an above average degree uh, German grade it is 2.3 that means a good deg uh, grade um, and um, these are the main uh, requirements 
Um, of course, if you take part in an international and in an English spoken course, we are looking for um, good English uh, knowledges of the yes, or knowledges of yeah. the English language, of course, so that the students are able to follow our courses. German is not mandatory, but of course it is welcome that if you want to live in Germany uh, in, let's say, a rural area like Nordhausen, it is helpful if at least you have some basic understanding of the German language, which means that here we are asking for the entry level, which is, for instance, A1. Okay. And we are offering, of course, German courses, uh, partly mandatory, partly elective courses for those who want to learn a little bit more about the German language. And uh, how does the selection process occur in the background? Like, is there a selection committee yes. which chooses the students? Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, we are looking as, I think it becomes evident that this is a very engineering related study course. We are looking for uh, students uh, who have a background in mechanical or electrical engineering because renewable energies is a mixture of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. So this background is very helpful. Uh, then we have a selection process, that means we have a group of professors, but also from our staff, um, uh, which then, uh, or who will then select, look into the applications and select uh, the suitable, <laughs> the best suited applic applicants, of course, is also uh, and always a little bit a different, uh, difficult uh, scheme to select from a, a group. Um, but we try to be as fair as possible, okay. so that also those who are entering uh, the study course um, yes, can study it successfully, because I must also point out three semesters is not a very long time, so we are not able, let's say, to redo all the fundamentals which are necessary to understand renewable energies. That is why here a little bit of uh, yes qualification from former study courses is necessary. Okay. What is the application deadline uh, and the application should be sent via UniAssist or mm -hmm. directly to the university? Yes, um, the uh, application period runs from the beginning of January uh, till the end of April. Okay. Uh, normally this changes a little bit from year to year, but normally this is the uh, application period. Uh, just in order also to give the uh, successful applicants time to look for the necessary visa and uh, all these uh, visa procedures are unfortunately uh, much more complicated than I ever expected. Uh, so that normally they can start uh, in October or uh, the next summer term. Um, until now uh, we are using UniAssist for just uh, the necessary transcription process of all the different international uh, grades from different countries, from different universities. Um, uh, so that applications must be done via UniAssist uh, and not directly to the university. Okay. What study areas and compulsory modules does a student learn in this course? Yes, uh, so this master uh, course consists of uh, three semesters. Each semester has a uh, 30 ECTS credits and in the first semester you will learn bio, uh, solid mass bio and then you will learn photovoltaic and then wind energy systems. These are the three energy systems which are like uh, the main compulsory courses that yeah. you need to take in the first semester and uh, there are at least 9 to 10 electives. Uh, it's your choice uh, which one you want to choose and you can do at least two or three. Okay. And in the first semester you need to do German language course which is compulsory, German as in foreigner. And, uh, uh, one scientific project. In the second semester you have a uh, biomass which is liquid biomass and then you have a solar energy mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, renewable energies in rural areas, how to manipulate the renewable energies in rural areas, how to bring them in and few other electives and another scientific project uh, that's that's for the 30 ECTS credits. In the okay. third semester you can do your master thesis mm -hmm. Uh, which is basically 30 ECTS credits and you need to present your defense. Okay. Uh, that's with the third semester. Okay. That's it. Great. First and second chem uh, semester comprises of two project works, right? Mm -hmm. So what are they and how are they supposed to be carried out? Mm -hmm. And what does a student learn from these project works? Mm -hmm. So these are um, scientific projects called. Um, means we work in a small project group okay. from five to ten students guided by a professor or a scientific assistant. And you have to answer a typical 
research question. Okay. This could be something theoretical, this could be something practical. In most cases we try to do it more practical so that you also start working in lab. Mm -hmm. This means um, you come to lab, you make a plan, what is, what is the, the scope of the project, what material is needed, how to organize you in a project group. So this entire project work should be covered with this. Um, added with practical work and the basic theory behind this. Okay. And does this project train uh, students for master thesis? Because if they are doing a project, maybe mm -hmm. they will also be doing literature analysis. Yes. So does it somehow provide training to the students for conducting their master thesis? Of course, we, we guide them in um, contrast to um, how to write more scientific, how to um, organize themselves. Um, so this, this helps them on, yes, to, to start um, um, beginning for the master thesis too. Okay. So I think it's easier for them later to start a master thesis yeah. because they know how to work scientific in Germany and Europe in general. And maybe it's different in different countries. Okay. And um, we, we show them or we tell them um, what is recommended from our side. And um, at the end, um, they have to write a project report. And this is nearly similar to what we expect in master thesis. Okay. Great. How are the exams conducted in this program? Are there MCQ-based exams, oral mm -hmm. exam, written exam, or presentation-based? Um, in general, they are in most cases uh, written exams. This means 90 to 120 minutes based okay. on what was uh, held in, in lecture. Mm -hmm. So in general theory, calculations and so on. Um, scientific project, there is a part which is um, done by a presentation mm -hmm. and another part which is uh, held by a written report. Okay. Done. Yeah. Okay. The universities in Germany or entire world is mm -hmm. suffering from COVID-19 pandemic, mm -hmm. right? So how are you uh, dealing with this pandemic? How are the exams conducted at present? Mm -hmm. So at the moment, the uh, last semester was just held online. Okay. So we um, conducted all um, necessary lectures. There was nothing missed. So if you just stay here for uh, three semesters, you won't need more time because of that. Um, of course, it was a strange and a really new situation yes. for all of us. But I think we, we managed it well. And also the students said that it was was, was done well. Okay. Um, at the end of semester, we also allowed um, some laboratory work in, and in project work. So this also helped us to come a bit together again. Okay. And um, the um, exams this semester will be held, um, I say, would like say 50-50. Some is um, done by a written exam here with enough space between the students. And uh, the other part is done um, with an online um, exam. Okay. And how are you planning to do it in winter semester 2021? Yeah. Will winter, it be the same? Winter semester will be an, an online semester for this uh, course of study. For other courses, for our uh, first semester bachelor courses, we do a um, present, uh, present semester here at the university because um, young people won't like to know everything. Yeah. Um, but um, students who are um, studying master course uh, should be also possible to do it online. Okay. Um, and we hope that in next summer situation maybe we'll be relaxed a bit more so that we can switch back to part here and part online. And do the students need to be here in the winter semester for the six months or they can uh, take the classes from their home country? They can um, just do it from home. So it's all online. Okay. Is there an admission restriction, NC, for this program? Yes, there is an NC due to the fact that we learned, <laughs> to our surprise, that we have a very strong demand for the study courses. So actually, in the now running uh, or finished uh, phase of application, we have roughly 500 applicants from very different countries, from Russia uh, to uh, Indonesia, India and, India and Southern America. So of course we cannot accept 500 students. Yeah. Um, therefore, uh, we are, uh, have some restrictions uh, according to the yes, um, uh, available uh, places in, for instance, in our labs and our, uh, our lecture rooms. Uh, actually, um, we are accepting 120. Okay. Uh, this changes a bit again from year to year according also to the demand uh, with respect uh, uh, of the German bachelor courses. But uh, normally we t t tend to accept between uh, 85 and 100, 120 okay. for each study year. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most important question is two semesters are okay, you are there to guide the students, mm -hmm. but during the master thesis, Students usually face difficulties in finding thesis in this field of renewable energy. So what would you advise to the students? Which resources can they use and can they approach the professor directly? Well, um, from the experience of our first course 
where now the students are mostly uh, in the uh, master thesis phase, that means in the final stage of the study course, um, there are two or three possibilities. So we are offering uh, master thesis here at our institute. That means that students can either take part in an ongoing research project, like for instance Panda, uh, who took this opportunity, or for instance three or four or four uh, master students under my guidance, they are developing within the master thesis their own ideas. That means they have some ideas uh, related to renewable energies, what they think is interesting. Uh, also for the further for, uh, for career, so this is also possible. Okay. And finally, we have the possibility that the students are uh, just doing the master's thesis in a company or in a research institute. We are offering to a limited degree. Uh, we have, let's say, a short yes, a short short list of companies um, uh, from uh, whom we are knowing that they are constantly lo looking uh, for for uh, students for master students and who are also willing, this is also of course necessary to say, that someone is doing a master thesis or academic work in English, yes, and not in German. Yeah. Um, but here I must say that we are also, it is depending also a little bit on the initiative of the individual student. First of all, I think master thesis is very important, so students should look what is my special interest yes uh, so what do i want to do in my master's thesis and maybe also as an outlook for my further professional career what is my yes my uh, topic uh, uh, and my main interest um, and then also using the let's say usual uh, sources that means browsing the internet there are uh, companies being offered we can also give some advice again i mentioned we have a list of companies uh, which are known to us that they are offering good opportunities for master students uh, and also research institutes. So normally uh, it is not easy, I must say, so it is a little bit, of course, detective work, finding the appropriate site, but it is not really an enormous challenge. So until now we didn't face a problem that someone didn't really find any opportunity for passing his or her master's thesis. Okay. Right. The student get a chance to do semester abroad? If they are willing to, it's possible. But again, okay, within the European Union, uh, it is not very problematic because due to this Schengen Agreement, uh, you can choose your site for education but and also for further professional, professional career. Uh, so that from this point of view, there are no restrictions, again, with gaining some visas or anything else. Um, until now, I must say the uh, demand for some other external um, studying uh, is limited. There are some who, uh, for instance, uh, are going to, to Poland, for instance, to gain additional knowledge. Uh, but I think most of our students are quite happy and again, three semesters is not so much. Uh, to stay here and to path their study here successfully. The other thing which you have to keep in mind, it's also a question of money. Yes, if yeah. you start to moving around, it really very fast becomes quite expensive. And this is another thing which you have to take in consideration. Okay. But from our point of view, it's not a problem. Okay, great. So what are the future scopes after completing a Master of Engineering in Renewable Energy <laughs> Systems? Yes. Um, two different perspectives. One is the international one. We know, of course, with all the concern with respect to climate change and uh, the reliable energy supply, that there is a significant increase in the demand for skilled young engineers, young people who are interested in working in this area. Yes? So this is also the intention why we started this international course, that we say, okay, there is an international increasing demand for these, let's call them specialists. Uh, and so the prospect generally is, uh, is uh, uh, very good. Also here within Europe or in Germany, uh, there are different companies and research institutes and also companies which maybe from the outlook do not really uh, are specialists in renewable energies, but many companies from mechanical engineering, from electrical engineering, power companies, they now recognize that renewables are really important and significant so they are looking to increase their staff. Of course, and this is the other side, the year 2020 in many uh, aspects is 
not the usual and the very complicated year. So, uh, of course, now with this ongoing Corona crisis and the economical uh, backdrop, of course, uh, many uh, companies are a little bit more restrictive, uh, but I hope, and yes, we all hope, this is, uh, will change very rapidly. So, basically, with the forthcoming years, we, and not only our uh, perspective, but we as uh, representatives of renewable energies, in Europe are expecting a strong increase in demand globally and also in Europe. Okay. Keeping the Corona crisis in mind, mm -hmm. what would you recommend students uh, who are about to complete this course? Would you recommend them to take a job or continue with their PhD? <laughs> yes, uh, um, again it depends on uh, your personal ideas. Yes, Of course PhD study can be interesting, but you must keep in mind that if you want to complete a PhD, for instance in a research institute, you must be able uh, or to accept that it will take at least three to four years. Uh, if you look at our staff here, for instance at Pascal, uh, there it is even longer because Pascal is strongly involved in on ongoing research projects. So here this PhD, his PhD is more or less, let's say, his private affair. Yes, And so it can take very long. And of course, this may be also a, bit, a little bit frustrating if you now have to work for five or six years just to pass your PhD. Yeah. So I think in many cases, this is not uh, just, a, let's say, um, way of bypassing the actual uh, situation. Um, maybe it could be uh, interesting to look for a shorter internship in a research institute or maybe also in a company just to let's say open the door, but as soon as the uh, um, situation changes, hopefully within the next, let's say, year, that then you are uh, uh, able to enter into the market. And therefore also the master series, of course, can be a very good yes, instrument as door opener. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Which fields are open for the students and which companies, which kind of yes. sectors are open for the students after the completion of this kind of course? Yes. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, field, professional field is very broad. Yes. Of course, uh, all companies dealing with energy technologies, which means, for instance, wind turbines, photovoltaics, bioenergy, uh, but also chemical engineering, for instance, that means where we have processes related to renewable uh, energies, consulting companies, uh, especially consulting companies, uh, which now are working more and more in an uh, international field of course where the uh, knowledge of our students especially also the language skills are uh, very very important and maybe are also a big advantage compared to students from from Germany uh, who are not so trained in speaking English and other languages yes you bring your own language from your home country maybe from India from uh, Indonesia and then you have the English language and you're learning also a bit of German so from this point of view you have a huge advantage then I mentioned also companies, uh, the let's say typical companies from, from uh, mechanical engineering, that means uh, construction, even car manufacturers, if you think uh, uh, on the uh, very deep change in mobility, yes, that also their knowledge on renewables, uh, how to fuel uh, yes, a non gasoline car, all these questions are of interest. And so it is not only restricted to the central part of energy and wind and photovoltaics and biomass, but there are uh, broad uh, possibilities. And finally, of course, research institutes are constantly looking, not only in, uh, in Germany, but also in, in, in Europe, for new skilled people um, who are willing to take part in ongoing research projects, of course. Okay. Thank you so much, Professor, yes. for this uh, detailed interview and any final piece of advice that you would like to give to the prospective students? First of all, I would also like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to present ourselves uh, within your uh, video blog and I hope that the informations are helpful and are also convincing interests that maybe Nordhausen is a good site to start uh, their studies in renewables. Uh, my advice is uh, <laughs> more a general advice uh, try to take it easy. Yes, it is uh, of course a challenge to come to a foreign country, for, to Germany, uh, with totally different culture maybe, but I think those of our students who are here for now uh, more than one year, 
they can also uh, agree that uh, it is not impossible that basically the Germans are not so difficult as they seem from the first look. And also that the study course by itself is demanding, of course. It's not easy, it's a master course. But I think here in Nordhausen uh, we are offering very good opportunities and our aim is that our students are successful. Yes, so again, maybe don't be too worried and too anxious uh, at the end of the day. It will work out fine. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> so uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please share it with your friends who you think this video will be useful for. And uh, please stay tuned to my channel for the further videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any further doubts, then leave them in the comment section below. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye, take care and stay safe.